on the end of every video I have my God, what a a lot of blooper, bloopers this time okay ah hey guys welcome back to another cheap pet video this week we're gonna fill the rear brake clean the tank and the petcocks and of course continue the wiring so welcome back everyone so this week um, obviously I continued with my wiring but there were a few small things that I first needed to do have a look at this this is the brake hose which I ordered the other day. They were hard to find, I have to be honest. By heating up the tube, it's way easier to shove it on. Then it was time to fill the system with brake fluid. In the first part you leave one half of your caliper closed and you leave your other bleed screw open until you see your brake fluid. Then it's just a matter of pumping until the fluid is in your tube. You want no air bubbles in your tube, so you open a bleed screw and close it during a firm pump. I also wanted to test if the brake really brakes well. And it definitely did. Then I wanted to completely clean my petcocks and gas tank, just to have it ready for the painter. I disassembled them totally and ultrasound cleaned them. While the petcocks were in the ultrasound cleaner, I started cleaning the fuel tank from the inside. The tank was completely dry from inside. I inspected it and started to blow out everything with my compressed air. That worked really well I have to say. Then I inserted my vacuum cleaner and finished the inside with refined petrol. Then I washed off the petcocks, which were ready from the ultrasound cleaner. I polished the petcocks and put them back together and made sure everything ran smooth. I did some finishing details here and there as well, with the hairpins and clips which I received. So, now that everything is ready, I can continue with the wiring. Let's have a look at that. I redid all the plastic sleeves of the connectors and where I had tape around them. I found them too ugly and one of my loyal viewers, Ron Vale, noticed as well. And if viewers start about things like this, then I definitely need to do something about it. Thanks for mentioning it, Ron. Last time that I had to stop my wiring was due to the fact that I needed a positive distribution block for these splits. I need to run a cable straight from the battery to a connection point because a wire needs to go straight in the starter solenoid. Follow the red wire. The positive wire gets a 20 amp fuse and from there goes to the RNR and straight from the fuse into the ignition switch and back from that switch to the fuse box. In other words, the fuse box only gets current when the ignition is on. 
This is that distribution bus which I bought for my positive wires. I needed to find a place for it first. This will be one fused and one non-fused distribution point. Let's make that first. Now to make a straight red cable, which will be the non-fused point, the point for the solenoid. And this is the wire. And this is the wire, where my son wanted to give me a hand, from the solenoid to the non-fuse point. I will tidy up the distribution bus, because there will be too many nuts on there. But first, make all the wires. Now it's time for the ignition switch cables. One fused wire goes in the switch and comes back from the switch to the fuse box. My son would cut the wire for me. Isn't that cute? And this wire is for the fuse box. There, now to wrap them up neatly. Now to run the regulator rectifier positive cable to the 20 amp fuse positive lead. Now this brown wire. The regulator rectifier needs an ignition switched positive lead. That's over here, powering the fuse box. After that, an important brown wire will come out of the fuse box fused with a 50 amp fuse. I'll show that later. Oh, 
To wrap the regular rectifier, my daughter Emma wanted to help out. The three distinctive wires from the stator can just be plugged in the regulator rectifier. I will deal with that single neutral switch and sensor wires which go to the TCI later. Here I tidied up the red wires a bit and put the cap on the bus. These were all the wires needed to start the engine. Strange idea, isn't it? Now, the brown 50 amp fuse wire is a crucial wire for the rest of the components. Basically it gives everything positive current, like headlights and blinker lights. Perhaps install the speedometer and headlight while I'm busy anyway. For all these connection I use this distribution bus because it will be split so many times. This would be a nice place to put it, under the tank and a great access point for all the coming wires. Fits great. First feed that distribution bus. This wire is fused with 50 amp. Next steps would be light bulbs and lights and so on. Definitely a lot of lights in my speedometer. Time to mount that. Let's also do the blinker lights. They will be needed soon as well. I would use these rubbers to run the small wires through my rear fender slash subframe.
So, as you can see, um, I've now finished the complete electrical system to start up the engine. So basically, if I would like to do that, I could start the engine. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet, obviously, because I, I just want to wire everything. And this really can't be wrong, what I just did. So, um, the next video, I will continue with that brown uh, wire. And the brown wire, I already mentioned that in my video, that brown wire is really important because that basically lights up everything. And since uh, every, uh, that brown wire goes everywhere, I also need all my components on the bike. So now things are really getting exciting. I'm still looking for a front fender. I haven't decided yet what to do with that. I have a front fender. I fitted it just like dry. Um, but I'm not sure yet if that will be the front fender. I think I have, uh, will have to have a look at uh, stock cafe racer kind of uh, fenders, uh, which I will uh, mount. Uh, why I do think this is important because uh, I could bring my gas tank, my side panels and my rear uh, and to the uh, spray painter if I like, but I only want to bring it there if my uh, if I have all my components complete. So the front fender is the only thing that is missing. So in the background, I'm also looking for a front fender. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel and of course give this video a, a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pep video. This week we're going. What ga ik eigenlijk doen deze week? <coughs> we're going to install the rear brake. The rear brake. Nee. We're going to fill the rear brake. Um. Clean the tank, fill the rear brake, clean the tank, and pet cocks, and continue with the wiring. Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pet video. This week we're gonna fill the rear brake. So, welcome back everyone. So, this week um, I did. Uh, but there were a few things that I first. But there were a few things that I first needed to do. Have a look at this video. And uh, to be honest, this can't... And to be fair... And uh, I test uh, everything in between my work. And to be honest, this can't be wrong. I already mentioned that in my videos is really important and since uh, everything gets lit for instance your neutral light or your high beam or your for instance your neutral switch uh, and your neutral light in my uh, gauge meter and that blue and the brown white <coughs> And the brown wire is really important because that uh, the thing that only is um, yeah for that front fender. So if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done yet yet, subscribe to my channel, and you can watch all other videos um, in the. Uh, and you can watch uh, several other videos in the links uh, below. No. And you can watch several other videos on my channel uh, on the end of this um, last take. Last one again. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, you can watch every. Uh, and you can watch several other videos and you can watch several other videos on the end of my videos you always find a description uh, round button and uh, the other videos that go with this 
um, part, for instance, or you could search. It. Never mind. If you haven't done that yet, subscribe to my channel and like this video, of course. Don't forget that. I'll see you in the next one when I'm gonna. I'll see you in the next one and then I'll continue with my wiring. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. That's my sister.